morning everyone and happy Saturday um, my day is just getting going I'm up here in the makeup room getting ready what I'm wishing I had like another royal wedding to watch or something on TV right now because that was so awesome it's Memorial Day weekend there's sort of a carnival thing going on not right in our town but in our area and I thought it might be fun to take the girls to that I've got a video going up today that I am so excited about it's where all the makeup I put on my face had to come from the back of whatever drawer I was opening up and it was really fun and really just eye-opening I think. Another task that I want to tackle if I can get to it over the course of the weekend is um, kind of cleaning out my makeup room closet which is a real wreck and just continued clean up here in the room although the room itself isn't too bad but if the closet could get cleaned up it could absorb a lot of the clutter that tends to build up elsewhere in the room you know what I'm saying but yeah that's what's going on right now so hope you guys are having a good weekend too um, what I used on my eyes today is something kind of new that I'm playing with it's the latest petite pro from Viseart and I believe I got this one off of Beautylish yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. But it's this one that has the greens involved and a little bit of purple too. And at a glance, I remembered thinking, hmm, does that look kind of similar to the first one? But the greens definitely take it in a different direction. And I really like this color of green, this light kind of seafoam, I don't know, springy green there, I think is so pretty and actually really wearable. I know the larger palettes from Viseart get kind of like a bad rap for being really expensive, although I do think they're packing in a lot of product of good quality but these little palettes the petite pros can be kind of a nice way to dip your toe into the brand and get a different color scheme because while I like the theory palettes those are the six color ones that are half matte half shimmer they're very monochromatic and they just stay in the same sort of family which can be fine and nice and all like I absolutely love amethyst deeply in my soul but the petite pros as you can see kind of have a little bit more um, color versatility a little more variety inside and the hands are very small. So I don't know, I have all three and I was kind of thinking of comparing them and, and letting you know about my favorites. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an upcoming video from me. On my lips is one of my favorite pink glosses. It's the Becca Glow Gloss in Camellia which I was raving about in that video where I reviewed them. And I noticed a few questions asking for dupes of this shade so I will keep my eye out for that for you. So I got this book because Brene Brown recommended it. She did some tweet about her top books or books she's reading now and so I'm like okay that sounds really compelling I went ahead and ordered it off of Amazon it's that thick y'all <laughs> it's gonna take me a while you ate all your grapes can you eat some pancakes now hi sweetheart I love you I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the video that I posted today plus the ad will tell you some crazy ways to lose that stubborn belly fat sometimes haters don't wake up early on Saturdays and that's fine sip it girlfriend Sip it. This is what she wants, everyone. She wants my leftover pineapple fried rice. Kid likes Thai food. She got a lot of it while she was in the womb. Say rice. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Can you say please? Please. Good. No. Now say thank you. Hi. Good girl. In the van this morning taking a solo trip to Ross. I'm looking for a few dress options for an upcoming event and I love looking at Ross because I feel like it's just a great place to find some diamonds in the rough. I found like just some great shirts and just general stuff there too, but I always feel like they have a good selection of dresses and petite dresses. So I'm gonna look into that. Bub also wanted me to check out the dress socks and golf shirts for him. And I told Belle, like, do you wanna come with me? But she was too gung-ho about getting into her princess dress this morning and watching some cartoons, so. So far. How cute are these little bows for the girls? It's always what happens, you're looking for things for yourself and then you find cute kid stuff, but those are the little things. So Ross, I ended up going with this dress. Um, this didn't really serve the purpose I was looking for, like in terms of the event I'm going to with Bub for the Trial Lawyers Association. It's just something, I don't know, I like the sleeve on it, I like the little uh, floral detail at the bottom, and I thought I'd probably eventually use that for a lot of different reasons. It was very comfy too. Also, this little number for Biddy. 
I mean, come on, $6.99, who could turn that down? Um, I did find Bub two golf shirts. Ooh. One is Under oh, Armour. Nice. It's about half price of what it would have originally been. It's nothing too fancy, but you can use right. that golfing, right? And then I also found a Nike one. Awesome. Yeah, the vent Thanks. situation. Thanks. It's got little snaps instead snaps of buttons. Snaps instead of buttons. Cool. Awesome. Where are you going, little miss? Little bows. Little kid bows. Oh. Rose gold. Adorable. Well, it's now nap time, and it's been a pretty fun-filled day so far. We had lunch. We had some playtime where I, you know, was once again the master of hide-and-seek several times over. See, I like to really mess with people and switch positions while they're looking sometimes. So I, like, re-hid about three times in the midst of their search, and it was just hilarious. Tyler realized he had a flat tire on his car, so he's getting that dealt with. Um, we also got the hot tub water tested. He took that to be checked on because they told us to do it after two weeks. We gotta start recapping some of the manly things Bub has done before we start forgetting because there's been so many. Bub, what have you Main done today stuff. that was... Change a tire, you know, about to change a light bulb. Is that it? Pool maintenance, does that count? Oh yeah, that counts, I count that. I was driving to take the pool water in for a sample and uh, my little alert said zero PSI in your rear driver's side tire. Yeah. How did and, you feel? Um, like, I felt like it had to be a mistake because my car was was not having any problems driving or anything like that. So I pulled into our other driveway and sure enough, flat as can be. So, jacked it up in the uh, 100 degree heat. <laughs> yeah, black drive, black Sometimes driveway. you just gotta stop. Tire off, took it in, changed it. Are your hands rough or are they? No, they're still silky smooth. He has very mm -hmm. smooth hands, Velvety. everyone. Okay, we're gonna go to the carnival tomorrow. That's right. We have yet another weekend of uh, missed opportunity. People who were supposed to come stay with us couldn't do it again due to sickness Two this weeks time. In a row. Get well soon. There he is, everybody. Knight in shining armor. I have heard your order, my love, and I will track it for all eternity. Oh, are you holding hands? You have Snooky's hand? So weird. Princess bedtime stories, everybody. They love this book at any time of day. Which is your favorite story in there? I love, I love a little slumber party. That's a good one. I like the one about Tiana. What's that funny line? Well, Shama, you're in a pickle. Well, little bitty, you're in a pickle. Little bitty. You're in a pickle. Little bitty. Oh. Little bitty. Hug. Um. Hey. She really likes to turn the pages too, you know. Let her turn some, honey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bitty, pull me up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> There's a little groundhog hole under that tree stump. What are you going to say to him? Mr. Groundhog, come out. It's his mommy. Hey, Nucky. This neat little clearing back here. A hole. Tell me about this hole. Do we think bunnies, maybe? Okay, don't poke down in there. We don't want to disturb anybody. This stick is... That's a really good stick. Good, good height of stick. Oh, mommy, here you go. This is just for you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look over here. These smell good. Honeysuckles here. Found some honeysuckles? Ah, uh, smells so yummy. Let's go. Here's our little rock where we like to sit. Oh, you see an airplane? Yep, I see it. Yep, not only are we looking for nature, we're looking for the man-made wonders as well. I think this is great. I tell you guys what, seriously, nothing makes me happier than these nights just walking around, watching her get a kick out of picking clovers and dandelions and stuff, and just enjoying this beauty. 
everywhere. The tall cottonwood trees, the sun setting, the honeysuckle. I mean, it's just gorgeous. All the animals, the deer that I think call this place home back here and walk through our backyard. Clovers mostly. Very nice. Ready, set, go. Blow, can you get the rest? Yeah. Takes a lot of hot air to do that. It's so pretty. When you get just anywhere in the vicinity of this area that is so thick with the honeysuckle, doesn't that smell good? What do you think's back there? That would be a good place for a small animal to get into. To have some bacon or an ogre or something. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta blow real hard. <laughs> See, I think this would be a pretty place to take some pictures. This cute little area. Yeah, let's go swing. Oh, the big hill. I'm coming. Don't fall down the hill. Dad, friendship, mommy, and the Wee! taking a peek into my makeup room closet and those white cubby holes were filled with palettes also above and a little area right up in there too. Don't you love just the hanging boa? But we're talking like old palettes. I just really have not taken the time to get into this closet in quite a while and seriously look around and as soon as I did I thought oh my word some of this stuff is so old I'm literally only keeping it for I don't know, nostalgic purposes, which what purpose is that really serving me? So as you can see, there are a few things over here that remain. I'll point those out to you as well, but I wanted to show you what's in this box. Also, I threw out just an entire garbage bag full of other maybe less notable things, but I thought it might be interesting for me to point out some of these things that you might remember me talking about on my channel like years ago. Sorry guys, I know this is like really rough, really impromptu, but here's something. Do you remember when everybody had this big old thing? When Elf put out more neutrals than anybody could ever possibly like dive into? <laughs> and I really use this guy. There's a lot in there from cool to warm to berry and purple and um, every highlighter type shade known to man. I don't use that anymore and I really don't have a desire to dive into that amount of shades at once, you know? I can't spend too much time on all this because I've got a box full, but I just wanted to quickly show you. Do you remember the Lorac palette that is so cute? And it was filled with these things that look like chocolate bars there. And some of them, there was like a lip palette and eyeshadow palettes and eyeliner palette in there. You know, obviously some cream stuff that I would never touch and put on my face again, but I kept it because it was so cute. The Urban Decay stuff, I'm getting rid of Vice 2, Vice, um, Vice Limited, as you saw in my last video, and also this one, which was strictly sitting there because, you know, it's cute. Wasn't this like kind of an anniversary type palette? Really pretty shades in there, actually. Um, it's beautiful, but I'm just, I'm not using it. This is one of the most hardcore decluttering episodes I've ever had because it's easy to throw out an old foundation. It's harder to throw out a palette that you feel like personally attached to. Like one of the first I used on my channel, you know, like this one, whoa, stuff's falling out, but that one from Tarte. Here's another Tarte, um, the Too Faced Summer Eye. This is the first, you know, go round of that palette. I had loved this e.l.f. palette, the variety in there you know, used a lot of it. This is probably a great walk down memory lane for some of you guys. Um, Stila did this little, like, you know, book set of palettes that look like little 
um, actual paint palettes. Smashbox with their photo op eyeshadows one holiday season. They had this beautiful collection there. There was also a smaller version of that that I've also gotten rid of. Um, Too Faced the holiday collection that said everything nice on it. Countless, you know, Tarte holiday collection stuff. Going way back, this Too Faced holiday thing that came in the tin. Tarte's original showstopper palette, like I think the first palette they put out in a circle like this, and they're still making that style of palette. Might be like the second or third Too Faced palette I've ever owned. This Sweet Dreams. I'm just kind of guessing here on that, but this was a holiday thing as well. Very pretty. Oh, I loved this palette from Smashbox and it like warped somehow. Like it's not, the magnets don't stay down. I absolutely adored this palette. Does anybody remember me raving on this thing? And I've got like a big old Mary Kay palette in here. A big Sephora Blockbuster palette. This Paris palette from Sigma I thought was so beautiful, but you know, it's gotta go. I'm just not using this stuff and I can't afford to take up the space with it. And it's not as though, guys, I was really like looking through this stuff continuously and constantly finding it worthy. I just wasn't really looking at it. I was letting it sit on those little shelves, not really even acknowledging its existence here in the makeup room and just not taking the time to really analyze it and say, okay, it, it's out. I've got some things from Coastal Sense that are going bye-bye and these I might feel the most emotional about because these are probably some of the first palettes that I seriously reviewed on my channel, you know? Like I just, I really remember these videos and I remember getting these products. Here, let me show you down here. This palette from Coastal Sense, the first large palette of this size I ever had, I remember I bought this one and some of the first PR stuff that was ever ever sent to me way way back in the day was like this shimmer palette and I'm pretty sure they sent me the warm palette too and quite a few palettes after that but like I remember reviewing this stuff early on on my channel and, and using the heck out of this shimmer palette just doing all kinds of different shadow looks and tutorials it feels nostalgic to me and I think well you know you've got the old videos if you ever want to go back and watch them I don't need to feel like a wave of guilt for getting rid of it but it just you know it's kind of like really seriously saying goodbye to um, some things that were very prominent in my channel in the early days. So what am I actually keeping after looking through a lot of stuff of that kind of era, you know, in my life? What am I holding on to? I got a set of Mally eyeliners here. These are like brush type collections. This might be the first Too Faced palette I ever had. Um, I would have talked about it in the earliest, earliest days on my channel. This was a gift, a Christmas gift from my sister when she would give me, you know, a lot of makeup type goodies and that was kind of my initial exposure to Sephora stuff you know was what she would get me for Christmas and this little guy you know there, there's stuff underneath as well I loved using that I loved the novelty of it obviously it's so old I'm not going to be using it now but I, I will keep that because that really has meaning to me also this is sort of from an uh, maybe an eyeshadow inspiration sense but I loved this feminine palette here from Urban Decay I wish they would do something kind of like this again but I don't want to like forget about this beautiful color scheme that's in here and I may one day like really want to recreate the kind of look I could get with something else and I just didn't want to let that go. Also, why am I keeping this original version of Natural Eye? Well, this was the first Ulta purchase I ever made. Um, I remember it vividly, uh, going to the Ulta in Fairview Heights, that's outside St. Louis, and I'd never been to an Ulta before, and I'd watched some videos on YouTube of a few people talking about how great this palette was, and I got it then. It is a beautiful palette, it's not like I'm keeping some sort of eyesore around here, you know, it looks great, but yeah, I feel deeply that I need to keep that. <laughs> I'm not going to go through everything nitty gritty style here, but I am keeping a few um, larger palettes like BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents, including this big 252 Ultimate palette from Coastal Scents, because it's literally like every shade you can imagine. And I feel like, you know, it's that library of bright and just every color of the rainbow. And as opposed to keeping a lot of large palettes, I will keep that. And just a few of these smaller ones that have like those Coastal Scents hot pots in them, because I think those are just a really great formula. Some of them, I think, great dupes for other types of shadows. So those can hang around uh, for a while. They're not incredibly old or anything, and I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But what 
came out of that closet last night is all this stuff and then an entire garbage bag full of other things too. What it all points back to really is time because if I would have just taken the time to get into that closet quite a while ago, you know, this could have happened a long time ago, really. We're gonna still be going to the carnival, although a very dark thunderstorm is approaching. Let's hope it's just a spotty shower and it's here and gone. But I wanted to let you know that earlier in the week, Pup was on the road. Oh, you want me to hold you? See that sky out there? That's a bit concerning. But as I was saying, um, Pup had let me know that she and Jeff were on the road and she had forgotten all her makeup. So she was in an emergency. So here's what she told me. She said, do you have anything I can pick up from the drugstore, a concealer, an eyeshadow that could double as brow, a powder and a mascara. And she said she did have like a lip product in her purse, so she didn't need that. So I gave her my four picks and she went out and found them. Hey everybody, this is Kelly, Emily's sister, AKA Pup. And I'm staying at a hotel with my husband, Jeff, for the next couple of days. And as soon as we got here, I realized that I had forgotten all my makeup at home. So I quickly texted Em to see if she had any recommendations for emergency makeup that would get me through the next couple of days. And she shot back a great little list immediately. So tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm gonna get all that stuff and try it out. And hopefully that will do the job. I'm sure it will, knowing Em. So thank you, and I will see you on the other side. Bye. Hey everybody, so I found all of my sister's recommendations at a CVS and I'm ready to go. Thanks, Boo. These are the products that Em recommended. I'm sure you all recognize them. And here is me before. Okay, this is me after. I think the makeup did a great job, even though I've got some pretty unflattering hotel lights that I'm dealing with. Um, Poof, I love you. You're amazing. You are a wizard, I think, and uh, couldn't have done this without you, obviously. Thanks again, Poof. I want to do more of this. I told her afterwards, like, can I just start up some kind of makeup hotline where people can just be like, hey, I'm in an emergency. I need this, this, and this. Here's a picture of my face. Here's my skin type. Go. And then I could give them the stuff and they can go find it, you know? Wouldn't that be fun? What's up, gang? We are going out. We are going to Heron Festa. Everybody is going to Heron Festa. Oh yeah! <laughs> Rides, food, carnival atmosphere. That's what we're here for. We got some corn dogs. Free ketchup and mustard and corn dogs at that. staying power really all things considered I wore my YSL long wear urban decay all-nighter setting spray always is a good idea in situations like this but I got very sweaty but how's your makeup holding up pretty well uh, it's, it's, you know, as best as can be expected we got some ice cream from Dairy Queen I got a s'mores blizzard got Bubba summer berry cheesecake blizzard this is the first time we've gotten Dairy Queen <laughs> since, well, first time this year. It tastes real good. I'm really liking it. And I've made this new friend here who really likes my ice cream. Me, me. Me, me, me. Me, me. Man, we got some cleanup to do. Okay, I'll give you some. I mentioned the other day that Bub was really busy doing a lot of manly tasks, like he was changing tires and he right. was changing light bulbs. <laughs> he was just doing all kinds of things. But in the midst of that, Bub, what did you pick up from Walmart? Well, something uh, called some frosés. For those of you who haven't picked up on it yet, it's it's just rosé, but it's frozen. But it's a it wine seems, slushy. It's a wine slushy, but it. I mean, it seems sweeter than yeah, just Yeah, they've sweetened rose. it. They've definitely sweetened it a little bit. 
But it was a really good idea, Bub. You just bought it. Um, obviously, it, it was not frozen. No, if you're in a Walmart that sells booze, they've got the little rack with different things like pina coladas and mm -hmm. daiquiris and stuff. And you just throw them in your freezer, take them out, and either let them thaw for a few minutes or, or do what I did and run them under hot water for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Break it up, massage it with your hands so it's smooth, and pour it in a glass. Seriously delicious. Yeah, this is... We, we just split one. Yeah, we split one, but there's another one waiting on us if we decide to take it up a notch. This would be a great pool drink. Yeah. This is a recovering from the fair mm -hmm. with two kids drink. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.